back and today I'm going to show you how to work with bullet points and lists in Adobe InDesign. So if we have a list of things that we need to have bulleted, when you first go into, you select the items that you'd like to bullet or list, and then you go into your properties panel, you can scroll down on your properties panel below the paragraph section to bullets and numbering. And you can click on the bullet points here or a list, numbered list that here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on bulleted list and see what it does. The default's not too bad. I can click on options here and then have some more control over what we see. So right now, um, my list type is bullets. I can change this to numbers if I'd like. You can choose from these different bullet options here. You can add more. Uh, down here is where I want to go, looking at bullets or number positions. <clears throat> so I'm aligned left, and it looks like my left indent defaulted to a quarter of an inch. And then my first line indent defaulted to negative quarter of an inch. So what left indent is going to do is show you how far it goes from the left margin line over towards the right, as long as we're left indented. And then what the first line indent is going to do is it's going to pull that bullet point further away from the text itself. Now, if I was to turn my left indent all the way down to zero, I'm going to get an error message that says it's an, invali an invalid indent value. It can't exceed outside the text frame. And that means that whatever my left indent is set at, it can't go past that number. Okay, so if you want it to go further, you've got to increase your left indent and then you can increase your first line indent if you need a bigger space between the two. Now why we want to use bullets instead of just going in and um, creating bullets by hand using maybe option 8 like the star key um, and then like a space or a tab is because we get this beautiful little thing over here. Let me hit OK and show you what I'm talking about. So notice how this line right here wraps and it doesn't automatically jump back to our margin line there. If we do this by hand, then that second row of wrapped text will go back there, and it just is, makes it hard to read. This way, it's just so much more organized. Now that I'm looking at it again, I'm gonna hit options one more time. I think I do wanna pull it a little further away from that margin line. So let me just push it. There we go, I like that. That looks better. There we go. It's always good to kind of indent your bullets a little more than the text above it just for some better visual separ separation. So now that I have that done, I can create a character or a paragraph style so that I can apply this to any bullet section or listed section I have uh, within my entire document. So to do that, I need to find my paragraph styles window. So go ahead and hit click on window in the top navigation there. Go down to styles and choose paragraph styles. From there, I can choose this little uh, square with the plus inside. It's create a new style and click it. And if I double click on that um, default, the paragraph style one defaulted text, I can type in here bulleted text. And that will, then I'll know what I'm looking at there. Okay. So it's going to go ahead and record all of the information or apply all the information that I have to this text here, including my font, um, my font weight and my font height. I'm sorry, my font size and my um, line height, my tracking, all that good stuff. So over here, I have a, another list that needs to be bulleted, but it is a whole different font and font size. So this is Adobe Handwriting Tiffany at 18 points. So if I select this, and I choose my paragraph style. I can actually choose it from up here, my bulleted text. It's going to default to that other text. So if I type in here, Adobe, what was it handwriting? Ooh, no, <laughs> Adobe, now I don't remember what it was. And there it is, Tiffany, cool and then I change this to 18. I can leave it there, but just, you know, for good measure, I'm going to go ahead and create the new um, paragraph style. I can do that right over here in my properties panel too. So new paragraph style, click on it, 
and I'll call this one um, bulleted handwriting. There. And I'll spell bulleted right. Beep. All right, cool. And so now that's set. So if I have another area where I'd like to use this special list, I can go for it. All right. Hope you had a good time. <laughs>